Hey everybody. Hey everybody, this is Grace. And where I'm sitting right now, I don't think you can see it. There's a sign over there that says, I don't think you can see it, that says that the, the gas price is, for regular, is $1.89 a gallon, per gallon. Over here, the one I'm sitting at, the other, the other one, it says the regular unlit is $1.92.9 per gallon. That one's $1.89.9, this one's $1.92.9. Ergo. I'm sure that they'll be back to equal because that's usually what it is. They have, you know, both gas stations will uh, have the same price per gallon, the, the, you know, at some point, <laughs> usually. And that's what I'm saying. But I'm using, going to use this as an example of what some would call a conspiracy theory. Okay, I, I wouldn't really call it that myself, but some would call it a conspiracy theory. And I'll tell you why, what, why this is on my mind. The other day I was driving down the road and I was making a video and I saw that the gas price at a different location was uh, really low, you know, that's, that's pretty low. Seemed like it was $2 and something, like higher, and higher than two fifty, just not too long ago. Anyway, I'm driving down the road and I see that sign and I say, oh, there must be an election coming up. <laughs> I said it. Okay. One, I said it. Yeah, I, I got what I said. The other one was, this is something that would just automatically come out of my mouth because of the past. You see, it's something that we, you know, some of us, some people would automatically say because we've seen it that way so many times, so many years. I'm 56 years old. I've seen it many times. That, like, the year of an election, um, you know, I'm talking about for president. Okay, there's other elections, but let's just say for president, uh, pre new president here in the United States of America. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the uh, gas prices would suddenly go down that year. Way out in the, and yes, they have reasons for it. You will always hear a reason that seems so totally, oh, I get it, but, yeah. Some of us who are older have been through this and said, yeah, we've heard it all before. <laughs> when there's, it's not every year now. It's not every time that there is an election for the, you know, for the president. But we've seen it and heard it, and they always have a good reason. They say, well, this is that and that, and this is going on. So that's why it's lower. We're not paying as much, so the customer or the consumer is not paying as much. We've heard it all before. Now, some people would say that's a conspiracy theory. That for people to say that I don't have any statistics I don't have any you know actual research on it at all and but what I have observed is that and what other people I know have observed is that and that's why we just say what we say you know some of us oh it must be an election year you know when gas goes down like I said some people call this a conspiracy theorist being a conspiracy theorist but those of us who have experienced it, we wouldn't call it that. We wouldn't at all. We have seen it. And anyway, those who would call us that in a negative way, they would say, well, you know, they, these people who have this, they won't lie to us. They, they um, can't lie to the public. You know, there's so many rules and laws and stuff. So it really is whatever they say it is. Really? <laughs> people high up can't lie to you. Are you sure about that? <laughs> and some, if I were to say that, like I am saying it now, what would, what would come back at me? Oh, you're, they're going to point the finger at me. Now, I'm just saying these things. I'm not saying I look at it this way. So. Actually, I have seen this in my life. Okay, I have seen, and I do feel like in, in an election year, the gas is going to go down. The same thing is, what is interesting is it depends right before a holiday but then so far too often it depends seriously the day of the holiday or return like when people would be returning from a holiday it goes up okay so they let the people get on the road but on the way home they're going to pay for it <laughs> it might be different than where you are i, I thought i remember it would, would be that it would go up before and, it, and stay up till after a holiday there it was a time when i could have seen that you know, I'm talking big holidays that people travel, like Fourth of July, um, Christmas, of course, New Year's, but 
uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Fourth of July is when I've seen more people travel. Yeah, and I remember, like I said, whenever the gas would go up before the holiday and it would go up back down after the holiday, sometime after, like the next week, start going down again. The gas prices. Now it seems like it would go. It's uh, like I said. It goes down right before the holidays, but boom, it goes real high, like when people would be returning from the holidays. Anyway, some people make these kinds of observations. That does not make them a conspiracy theorist, because they make that kind of observation. Now, um, and, and it could, like I said, my own view about um, a conspiracy theorist is one who says, you know, gets kind of paranoid and says the whole, you know, say the government's against them or... Um, you know, really it goes against the professionals, okay, and something like, you know, anyway, but think about this one, think about how you have gone through your life and you have observed that, people have said that, and there's money involved in this, this, there's a lot of money involved in gas, okay, so should you trust it, should you trust whatever, if, if it consistently happens, year, I mean, cycle after cycle, <laughs> yeah. every four years after four years, should you? Should you trust that every, that every time, say if it is every time, or almost every time, you know, a high percentage of the time, this happens, and you know, same thing with holidays, all these things, are you wrong to have any distrust of it? You see what I'm saying? Okay, now if we just believe whatever we're told, and we don't ever question it, that's, that's, that's some, that's not a good thing to me. Okay, now to, to go, yeah, out and find the information, it really depends on the topic. Is money involved? Is a lot of money involved? Is the whole thing of the gas prices going up and down, the whole thing of, uh, you know, every election, yeah, we can be kind of, mm -hmm, I'm not going to believe the people who are saying, you know, these, you know, oil companies or gas companies, you know, Petro, what they're saying because it's too consistent and it's too, you know, but the, yeah, I can see that there are reasons why this would be true, okay, that is, it's uh, so involved that I definitely cannot go into it, I'm not an expert on that, but I do have my suspicions, Okay, and I don't think it's wrong to have those suspicions on that. But some things are too bizarre. And that's, I think, whenever people start calling another person a conspiracy theorist. Is when they, they really, you know, when they could be doing harm to themselves or to others. By, um, you know, like, see, I don't even want to mention those. The ones that where they could be causing harm to other people. I, I don't want to mention them for various reasons. I think some of us know what I'm talking about. But simply not accepting things, simply not being what people these days call people these days call a sheep call part of a sheeple or you know, a group of people sheeples. They just follow whatever they're being told and you know, they don't think for themselves. I call them, you know, mantra mentality type people, you know, some of them. Whatever they're told they believe and then they go around chanting it practically to everybody else and you know, I, I do believe in observation. I do, I'm trained in, um, my degrees are in psychology and sociology. I was trained in research. I do, um, I haven't, I haven't done any professional research on this, but observation, yeah. So, I'm not the only person. Of course, I know I'm not the only person. But you see what I'm saying? What we will call, you know, people who don't agree with, say you say you you have a friend who's part of this kind of sheeple thing you know they they just whatever they're told to believe you know by whatever um, TV or cable news network they they watch and they're told to believe this way and they just say okay you know I'm not gonna use my own time I don't have time to think about it. they're telling me what to think and you know like that and you have a friend like that and then they and they just repeat it over and over and over Whenever you're having a discussion with them about something, they just repeat what they're told, <laughs> and they, they don't—they won't think for themselves. You know, they—they they won't. Okay. Anyway, like they—they they may have been told why the gas. You know, I'm just using this as an example. You know, 
why the gas is so is doing this the gas prices and you you want to talk to them you know have a conversation about it how you feel about it and they're going to just repeat what they were told to think okay what reason and they're not going to look past it they're going to look at you and say no you're absolutely wrong because you question it and you shouldn't question that they would always treat us right okay I mean, it could be anything. I'm not saying that all gas companies and all that always treat people wrong. I'm not trying to say any of that, okay? No. And it could be coincidental. Very coincidental. Lots of times. It could be. Yes, indeed, it could be. And, uh, and there could be really good reasons behind it. Really could be. But to be a person who won't think for themselves, that won't question these things from time to time, like I said, not in a paranoid way, but just question well, that's odd. It happens all, all the time, or often, quite often, most of the time. Yeah, I think people need to learn how to question things. I think we're losing that too many people are, are just sheeple. Yeah, just following their, whatever leader they have. Instead of thinking for themselves, critical thinking about different things. And have discussions about them, not just sit there... You know, say, hey, they tell me to think this way. That's all I'm thinking. I'm, I don't have time for that. I want to go listen to the next, um, you know, I want to go listen to my music or some whatever it is. So they don't have to think. <sighs> anyway, this was just on my mind, okay, for various reasons. I've heard people do that. I've heard too many people do that. They just repeat what they've heard. It gets so bad, you know, to, it, it's, it's kind of bad you could because you really see them like walking around like zombies in a way they're sheeple that's what people call them some people sheeple <laughs> like sheep and people mixed together but and they're not thinking they're just following the herd the herd mentality the herd um, common sense some use well guess what common sense isn't always the same for every person no what they and common sense isn't always right either Okay, it's the, what's common denominator. It's what some sheeple have heard, and they're going to say, well, that's what it is. You can see problems, issues, and some people would say even this. I, I've always said this since I was young. Is you hear people say, uh, opposites attract. Okay, you got opposites. Uh, two opposites people, opposite type people, are attracted to one another. What you hear other, other people say is, birds of a feather flock together. Okay, I know this is a bit of a difference in between this one and that one, but some people won't even see it. They won't even think about it and say, hmm, <laughs> yeah. you know, think about it. Use your brain. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. If you want to have any comment, leave it below. Talk to you on another video. Bye.